Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we'll be talking about the AirPods the third generation ones and yeah this is going to be a very simple review because they're very similar to the AirPods Pro second generation which I reviewed and I'll actually link the video to that and they kind of share most of like the same features except the noise cancellation and a few other things but they're basically functionality wise almost the same thing one really strange thing about the airports third generation is that you can get them with either the magsafe case or just the lightning port case it just means if you can charge it with the magsafe charger for the iphone which means it'll magnetically attach to it and charge otherwise it won't magnetically attach but you can still charge it with the lightning cable strange option why are there two different options i don't know but if you live in new zealand the one with the magsafe is 349 and the one without the MagSafe capability is 329. Some things that the AirPods third generation actually have in common is that, well, they do have specialized audio and they also have the personalized specialized audio, which means it can tailor the sound to the shape of your ears. I don't know how much of a difference it makes. I use it and I literally can't tell the difference, but I mean, there's someone out there is gonna be like, hey, it's great. These AirPods also have like a mesh that prevents some of the wind that goes past them from making that really awful noise when you're calling someone. You know what I'm talking about. They try and reduce it, it's still there, but it tries to minimize it. Remember when I said that the AirPods Pro second generation, they have that sort of like pressing sensor thing on the stem of the earbuds. Well, these ones have it, except that it's only for the pressing functionality. So you can pause a song, skip to another song, go back to a previous song, answer a call and so on but you do not have the capability of the touch sensor which remember i said you can either swipe up to increase the volume for example and swipe down to decrease the volume these ones only have the press functionality not the touch sensitivity function again it might not be a deal breaker for a lot of people but i have actually found that the touch uh, sensor is actually very useful to me especially uh, when it comes to increasing and decreasing the volume of the music i'm listening to but again it's not like it's the end of the world if you don't have it now these airports are actually ipx4 which means they are water and sweat resistant so they are completely fine if you go out and it's raining um just keep in mind that these are not adequate for any sort of like swimming sport or yeah just be careful do not swim with them then do not take a shower with them I, I don't know why people actually do that they think it's water resistant and they'll be fine no that will almost certainly destroy them so please just know that they're fine for exercising and of course the weather when it just doesn't comply with you and it starts raining when it comes to the charging these airports can last anywhere around six hours on a single charge remember they do not have noise cancellation so that's pretty good and when you charge them using the case it will last about 30 hours again it depends on every user it's completely variable since people will listen to different songs that have different levels of bass and different volumes and all of these things so roughly around 30 hours they've never died on me so that's a great thing it's like the airports pro second generation a few things you need to keep in mind is that the airports third generation do have the siri functionality so you can announce say calls or notifications that you get on your iphone if you don't have the screen on of your iphone of course which i think is a great thing i think that in the absence of an apple watch that's a great feature since it doesn't mean you have to constantly check your phone you can just hear the notifications coming up keep in mind if you speak a different language other than english siri will try and read out say the messages and they can be pretty hilarious so just bear that in mind anyway guys that's it for this video it's very difficult to really find a difference between these airports and the airports uh, pro second generation of course the second generation airports they do have the noise cancellation the touch sensor and things like that but other than those like features there's not a lot of differences between them of course with the airports third generation you'll be able to hear your surroundings and the only way you can mute that is by blasting music in your ears which i do not recommend but we all do every now and then come on let's be honest so yeah that's that's it for this video everyone thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one